Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Pillars of Eternity. As I continue with my blind let's play. So yeah, I am back everybody after my trip. It was good and... Yeah, of course it's been a little bit since I've played this. Um, so forgive me as I'm trying to, you know, get back in the swing of things now. Uh, last time we, uh, you know, recruited Maya. Um, and the first thing, like I said, I'm going to go do is go to the Valian Trading Company and recruit Pelagina, I think. And hopefully she's there. Um, oh, that's strange. Uh, I thought I was pressing the, the button for the map, but it's not popping up. Um, God, has it been that long? I just forgot how to play. Oh my goodness, what button is this supposed to be? Yeah, M. Uh, it's not working. What the heck? None of my buttons are working. Um. Uh. I don't know, that's weird. Okay. Anyways, let's go back to the Queen's Birth and go. Let's just go there. You are traveling the streets of Nagataka when you hear a familiar voice nearby. As you follow the winding streets of Nagataka, the usual city sounds of cartwheels against cobbles and shouting vendors fades, replaced by the cacophony of a heated argument on the verge of boiling over. One of the voices rings familiar. Eld Ingram from the Defiant. Let's, uh, let's approach. As you round the corner, you see Eld Ingram surrounded by a group of unfamiliar soldiers. From their dress, you don't believe they're locals. They shout at him, uh, who returns the yelling with interest. But you can't make it out who actually... Can't, can't make out the actual matter of the argument. One of the sailors shoves him against a wall, and the hand... Uh, of another thug lingers dangerously near his weapon. Ingram's eyes meet yours and widen. Captain, thank the gods, I could use a hand here. Captain, the unfamiliar sailor scowls as he looks you over. You should teach your sailors better manners. This sodden fool got us, uh, got sick all over our boots. Her compatriots nod, eyes searching you. Okay, so we can bribe him, give him some money. Or her, sorry. Um, is this diplomacy? We have quite a bit. Um, I'm going to try diplomacy for once. And see how that goes, since we've been, you know, using points into it. So I'm sorry about my mate's behavior, but I can't let you make them unfit to serve. I don't suppose an apology would suffice? Yeah, that's fine. Perfectly reasonable way to resolve matters. Aloth looks brightly between the aggrieved parties. The sailors look to one another and uh, one nods. She looks at Eldingram. Let's hear it. Eldingram gives you a sad glance and looks back to the woman. Sorry, ma'am. What was that? The other sailors snicker. Sorry, ma'am. The woman salutes you, then turns on her heel. The sailors walk away. Morale gained. Awesome. He approaches you, grinning openly. Thanks, Captain. You truly saved me just now. Return to the fight, sailor. Actually, you know what? Before that... Be more careful next time. Next time I might not be here to save you. Yes, Captain. He heads off towards the ship. That oh, wonder we got stopped right there. Okay, so let's uh, let's continue. Two hours and twenty minutes. So I hope all of you are having a wonderful day. I know I am. Um, when I'm recording this. Uh, just as a note, once again, there's going to be a little bit of delay 
in terms of uh, when you guys see videos and then, you know, I, I'm gonna record so many parts and whatnot. You know, the usual thing. Uh, or at least try to. Um, let's see, is it working now? No, it's not. Um, oh, wow, this, my, I can't, I, <laughs> oh, goodness, what if I do this? Hey, God, everybody. I don't know if you heard that. Um, no, I don't know what's happening. That is so weird. Um, because I'm trying to press escape, but it's not working. Oh, boy. Does that mean I can't, I can't even pause it. That is so weird. I don't know why that's happening. What I might do, I might save it, and then oh, that's right. I keep, I keep trying to press the map button, and I can't. Kneel before him and wonder at his benevolence. Feel the warmth of his radiant presence. Thank you, sir. Ivor the Bright. Kneel before gone shepherds us all, traveler. Seek out his temple along the sacred stair that thy path shall be made clear. Thank you, sir. First. I think that's it. Oh, skill too low. Oh, because it's nighttime, I think. Or, I mean, it is, but, I mean... Of course they locked it up at nighttime. Is that where I need to go? Yes. She's either right outside. Whoa, what is... I was trying to see what, uh... Nobody had right there. Oh well. Oh shoot, I can't even look at, you know, I press tab or anything. There's a clerk. What's the time? Hour six. Okay, so it's almost daytime. If you've come on business with the Valian Trading Company, it will have to wait until morning. We're closed. There's no need for you to be here after hours. Moving on. Very well. Farewell. I do like that detail. Um, I don't remember how long it takes for time to pass. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna go to the wild mare. You know what? Hang on. Before I do anything else. Real anything else. Now. Oh, don't sneak. Okay. So, it looks like it's recording. That's what I just checked. Um, so that button's working. It's just... The buttons in-game are not working. Gosh, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, let's see. Let's get a room. What can I do for you? Oh wait. Be seeing you. Gosh, I, I, it's been it's been a little bit. Maybe I do, I can't get a room. Or what I mean is, it's just you know for entertainment. Whoops. Well, that's okay. Um, uh, let us. I'm gonna change the hull, I think. So that's the sails. The ship name color, that's fine. Let's make the hull... Let's make it like a blue. See how that looks. I'm tempted to save and reload, but... Okay, it's still there. Or hour six. Um, that's, that's not bad. I'm just gonna come over here really fast. You know what, how we're doing on supplies. 
Doing okay. Um, morale needs to be more. It's the stash. You were saying? You know what? Let us uh, talk to Maya. Your orders, Captain. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. If that's the case, so, uh, just out of, you know what, first let's talk about her family before we ask, ask that. Well, my parents came from the dead fire. I'm getting a taste of my roots. After they immigrated to Rawatai, their talents caught the Ranganui's eye. He saw them as this spectacle, this achievement of the old country, I guess. So they were honored guests. Not many Huana rose to distinction in Takoa. We were also curiosities. Even as we broke the same bread and tossed back the same wine, the Ranganui's friends always checked under the table to see if I had a tail. Kana thought it was hilarious. That sounds intolerable. It was an education in patience. Growing up in the Ranganui's shadow wasn't all bad. We had tutors and advisors at our disposal, and lots of folk from stranger parts than these. I spent my days learning to shoot, while my more academic siblings learned to express themselves. I leave you to judge who spent their time better. So, you mentioned Kana, so he was one of your siblings. Sure am. And I heard that you two spent some time together. Funny how the gods toss things together. I heard tell that Kana sailed off in search of whatever he didn't find in the Deerwood. They say he lit a fire under the Ranganui to speed up the taming of the dead fire. She grins at this, planting her hands on her hips with pride. You clearly had some sway on his opinions, more than I ever did. I wish you had told Kana to give up on the poetry. He's got no ear for it. Well... Hmm. I'm just gonna say I did my best to help Kana of find the meaning he saw. You kept him alive in any case, while he wandered the lands in search of stories. I do with bullets what Kana did with words. Just in case you were wondering, the comparison ends there. So how did you and uh uh Ishia or is, is she uh, oh my gosh. You first get acquainted. We'll see how she says it. I won a shooting competition at the Ranganui's estate. This was a few years before enlisting with the Navy. As a reward, he gave me the freedom of the Royal Airy and said I could take my pick of the Warbirds. Stinkfeathers here kicked a rather pretty hawk off my arm so he could have me all to himself. Been inseparable ever since. Well, who's a good bird? The bird cocks his feathers, or sorry, God, his head, his eyes reflecting a mixture of friendly recognition and murderous calculation. Oh boy. Love the portrait, by the way. Uh-oh. That says I'm hungry and you're wasting my time, face. Better step back, Captain. Good to know. Let's let's be off then. I know she said it in the previous uh, video, and I can't remember. Okay, what time is it? Hour 7. It's probably going to be hour 8. Watch. That'd be really funny. Oh no, it's not. Thank goodness. Okay. I did want another situation to happen. Like it, uh, you know, in Pillars of Eternity 1, where I was just waiting around for like 20 minutes or however long it was. Alright. Oh shoot, it actually works. The, the keys. That's so weird. I don't understand that. Okay, anyways. There's Palagina. Ado Watcher, the Cantonichesi sent for me. It seems the Republics have need of me again, thanks to you. It is difficult to read her expression. The corners of her mouth briefly twitch into a smile, but there is worry in her eyes. Do you have need of me? Uh, frankly, Palagina, I will always have need of you. Good. She nods sharply and steps forward. Heck yes! 
And you know what? Uh, I don't know if you're still watching, but uh, Block, if you're still there, um, I think I'm actually going to multi class Pelagina. Well, I'm not going to do Fighter, you know, Crusader, or what I mean, because we already have plenty of Fighters. I'm going to do Herald for combination of Paladin and Enchanter. Um, and I guess story wise, I'll, I mean, we'll see what she says, but I would think after being kind of, you know, thrown to the wayside from the, the Valen Republics, um, that she's kind of picked up, uh, you know, Chanter. So we'll, we'll try that. Actually, let's preview the, the ability tree just really fast. She still has, like, you know, a lot of her, uh, oh no, this is right. I could go in between and, bow, and you know, pick. Slash and shark over ratings. Oh, okay. Let's try it. Let's try Harold. Oh my goodness. Um, maybe one day I'll look at the actual tutorials, but I don't know who to replace. I'm because I want her in the party. I really do. Okay, level six. Excellent. But I love all these characters. Oh my goodness. I, I know I need to switch them out. Uh, okay, they need to level up at some point. But, um... Let's see. I'm gonna leave her, uh, Zodi, because of her healing abilities. I'm probably gonna leave Aloth, because it was just AoEs and... You know, spells. We just got Maya. So really, I really think I might have to switch her out with Adair. Even though I love Adair. Well, something I said? Let's do it. Oh, wait. Okay, that's fine. At your service, Watcher. Adair, take care of the ship. You're my first officer. So. Watch over the ship. Alright. Hang on. Let's. Ooh, no. Yeah, there you go. I am ready. You know, I'm Your trying orders. to remember, what is Maya? She's a ranger, gotcha. Yeah, you know what? Let's move her there. You were saying? And she has a rifle, just like Kana did. What armor does she have? Light armor, okay. Um... That's medium. I guess I could put in some medium, but no, I guess I'll try to keep the, the set of armor that she, you know, that they have. Let's give her a cape. Whoa, hang on. Oh, that's weird. I don't know if you noticed, but it kind of zoomed in on her character when I did that. That's okay. Okay, so... There's that. Alright. We'll try that. Alright, Palgina. So you have ooh, you have a pistol. Or a bundle of us. Um and great sword. And you use medium. Pretty sure I don't have anything else higher, so that's fine. And then your abilities. Savage attack. Oh yeah, the auras, that's right. Clarity and purpose. The allies increasing their accuracy. Increase the stride and disengagement defense. And then... Increase the armor rating. Probably I'll keep it with accuracy for right now. Not enough phrases. Probably need to customize this then. I don't remember what they do. Hang on. 
Constitution, Resolve, okay. Fortitude and Will, that'd be great. And then this one, Stride and Reflexes. Let us go with... If I can, I guess I can't. Um, Oh well, that's good. Okay. I guess we could uh, talk to the Valians while we're here. Luca's office, guard bank, governor's office, archives, the stairs, the washroom, and sitting room. I think it was Luca, right? What have we here? Ooh, I'm tempted. Um. Captain. Hang on. Oh, you have two mechanics. And stealth. Okay. Excellent. I might have to keep that in mind. So, her and Seraphine are going to be, I guess, our rogues. Quote-unquote rogues. You were saying? The clerk busies himself about the room. Favoring you with a brief glance, he rubs under his eyes and exhales through his nose. Welcome back to the office, Sere. He bows to Palgina. Ado, Luca. She dips her head slightly in acknowledgement. If you or your friend have business with the company, I am disposed to listen. I'm going to examine the clerk first. Luca's shirt is spotted with a number of faded purple stains that you recognize as droplets of wine. Someone has tried unsuccessfully to wash them out. Oh boy. Nothing your interest... Oh, sorry, God. Noting your interest, Luca tugs his jacket closed. The servers at the tavern are clumsy. Most clumsy, indeed. Indeed. What is this place? Even though, I mean, I know it's the Valian, you know, trading company, but tell me more about it. Stumbling from the street, I see. This is the heart of the Valian trading company. You would know that if you had a reason to be here. From her office, Governor Alvari carries out the will of the Songretta Mea Compressa. We clerks are the fingers of their long reach. Farewell. Just say the word. So, now that we've got this back, let us save. Let's save it there. So I'm going to try this once. You were saying? Actually, who has the best stealth out of everybody? Five. Actually, I think it's going to be her, so let's just Your do her. Orders? Ishii. Quiet time. Give me the order. Hang on. Okay, so I think that means I'm in stealth. Ooh, wow. Sapphires and a bunch of money. Let's try it. Yeah, there we go. Captain, let's go. And you know what? Before we go. Alvari doesn't appreciate any disrupt disruption of business. Actually, first, let's talk to the tenant. Let's go through the formal channels. Before, find the governor past these doors. For other business, please see Luca. Okay. Governor's bodyguard. Echo, see. You have business here. Uh, I've just come from Port Maje. Governor. Uh, Clario suggested I might find work here. You are in luck. The governor is between meetings. Go on in. Thank you. Let me zoom in here. Anybody watching on the phone? Uh, wait. Isn't that? Yeah, it is him. Okay. Governor. Standing next to her desk and lost in thought, Governor Alvari looks up. You're, as you approach, her expression of intent, focus, thaws, and intense instantly, I'm so sorry, and she greets you with a startling sunny smile. The Watcher. From the palace, yes? You made quite the impression on the Cantonese. He went on for ages. Welcome. Make yourself comfortable. I am Lueva Alvari, governor-in-residence of the Valian Trading Company here in Nekataka. 
What brings you to my door? Uh, I've come from Port Maje. Governor Claria suggested that the Valian Training Company might have work for me. I could also say I've met with the representatives at the palace. You know what, let's do that. I met with the representatives at the palace. They mentioned you might have work for me. They speak the truth. A watcher is welcome in these times. Under different circumstances, I'd write up papers for an emissary's posting, no? But we have a situation that needs immediate attention. How much do you know about the Luminous Adra trade? Uh, enough. Every viable deposit is of interest to us. Cartographers, surveyors, at any moment we have a dozen expeditions underway. Some weeks ago, we received word of a large quantity of Luminous Adra on a distant island. Pukukohara. It is not charted on any of our maps. However, Pukukohara is said to neighbor the island of Tikawara, and we've already made contact with the natives there. We dispatched an expedition to Tikawara with instructions to locate the Adra site and determine its value. Our people have neither returned nor sent any word on their progress. We are too long delayed, and someone must finish the job. A watcher can determine if there is essence in the Adra, if it is worth the trouble and investment to remove it. Information for which we are willing to pay. So what do you know about Poco, uh, Kahara? Not much, unfortunately. A few superstitions among the locals, but they're unusually tight-lipped about the subject. Well, I feel like those superstitions might have, or, you know, are true. So, do you want me to find your people? Ideally. But if the worst has come to pass, I would like you to complete the investigation of the Adra deposit. Anything that may assist the company. Indeed. Gelade, I will mark Tikawara on your map. We have had no real trouble with the villagers in the past, but I always recommend caution. This will be of some use to you, I think. It entitles you to act as a commissioned agent of the Valian Trading Company. Present it and you will be recognized as such. Though she presses a document in your hand. Gain the item Valen Trading Company writ of commission. Let's take a look. Be it known that the bearer of these documents is empowered to act on behalf of the Valen Trading Company in matters pertaining to exploration and expansion of company interests within the Deadfire Archipelago. The bottom of this letter bears Governor's Alvari signature and official seal. Until then, I believe we're finished. Return here once you have word of our agents and our prize. Oh, and take care upon the open sea. There are greater hazards in these waters than a few pirates. Thank you, Governor. Not gonna go to that island, I don't think, just yet. Uh... Wanted to close the door. There we go. Oh, I closed it. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Oh, hang on. Okay, good. He closes himself. So again, another island with more missing people, it sounds like. So yeah, we'll see what's up with that in a little while. Um, I know we got, you know, a few quests here, or, you know, some events that had happened. Gosh, I'm just like, oh yeah, I was gonna go check out the Emporium. That was a couple of videos ago, but, or, or, yeah, so. Okay, so the Beast Winter, yeah, we're definitely not doing that. Aethys, yeah, we're gonna hold off on that. In terms of trade. Oh, so this is actually our level. So you know what, I might go check that out pretty soon, then. I just got that bounty, but it, it seems like we might have to gain one more level before we do that. What is this? Oh yeah, the plot against her family. Um, that's right. Storms, Kahara. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, that's the execution of a man dragged in a cage. Yep. Gotcha. So, given the quest, I wonder if that's uh, somebody else we can recruit to the ship. Gotcha. Okay. You know what? While we're here. Yes. It's weird. Hang on. I am ready. Yes. Okay, there it goes. I was about to say, I don't know what the studying was for. Um, it's so weird. I can't change that. Oh, well. Um, let's talk uh, to Pelagina. I would not have guessed I would find myself back with the Watcher of Cadnua, much less at the Order of Akanta. I know that you did not intend for misfortune to befall me, and I appreciate what you said in Queen's birth. Thank you for your understanding, Pelagina. Perhaps this time will go better for both of us. You only have to ask. Well... How are you doing? Good. I have no concerns, Watcher. Okay. Uh, can you tell me, you know, what happened after, you know, we defeated Theus? Well, I mean, I know what happened. I mean, I'm more asking about, hopefully, what happened with you. After we parted ways, I returned to the Republics and reported to the Duke's Bells. I failed to complete my mission and had no excuses. The Republics had lost a golden opportunity to trade with the Glanfathens, and the Dukes were furious. They exiled me from the Brotherhood, scoured the suns from my breastplate, put me on a ship to Red Ceres. Diverus, I was lucky to escape with my life. I worked as a guard. Caravans, ships, wealthy merchants. I did not discriminate. After my exile, both my purpose and my pride were gone. The years have taken me from the Eastern Reach to the Deadfire. Some would say it is fate that has brought us together again, Watcher. But you must already know what I think. It is just luck. Time will tell if it is good or ill. So how do you like the Deadfire so far? Where I am assigned is of no concern to me. But I do think the dead file can be profitable for the Republics. Oh, I am absolutely sure on that fact. With all the Adra and just... Yeah, I mean, I, I can definitely see that. If the Dukes need me here, I am glad to serve them. So what's your opinion on what's happening with Aethys so far? Whatever he... Whatever they are up to cannot be good for any of us. At their best, the gods are powerful children. At worst, they are little more than mad beasts taking out their anger on our world. Yeah. I have little interest in distinguishing which type Aethys is. She waves the back of her hand uh, and up, dismissing the thought. Well, really, Paladin, it's really good to have you back. So we'll, uh, you know, talk more on the ship and whatnot. So let's continue on. All right. Uh, let's go to the Emporium. Oop, not just one. Um, we're all gonna go. You know, I'm gonna test something while I'm at it. I don't think this will work. Besides, they're all gonna be nearby anyways, so... Uh, okay, whoops. Um, I meant to just grab one person and see if they could just walk out themselves, but I don't think that's the case. Or maybe they can. Over there. Indeed. First, let's talk to... Ooh, okay. wonder what that is. So, anyways, let's talk to this guy. Oh, hello. Welcome to my shop. It's such a pleasure to see a new face. Bounces back on his heels, a wide grin, plastered on his worn face. How might I assist you? So what do you do here? Oh, I am a cartographer. I make maps. I'm not half bad at it either. And may the gods forgive my immodesty for saying so. If you need a map of any settled region of the Deadfire, I am your man. And my commission rates are quite generous. It used to be I would take to the sea and do a bit of charting myself. But I haven't the time. Too many maps need making. A shame, too. 
There's a whole swath of the dead fire I've yet to see. I'm quite keen to write a book, in fact. Oh, but I won't trouble you about that. Excuse my nattering on, won't you? Uh, looks like you have a nice dog. You think so? He is a magnificent beast, isn't he? His face splits into a broad grin, bright enough to lighten the room. He's been a bit low lately. Between you and me, I think he's heartsick for the sea. So you said you're writing a book? I'm putting together an explorer's account of the dead fire. Or at least the part of it Queen Onekaza's tribe has laid claim to. My book will be the first of its kind. The explorer's club will go mad for it. Or, well, that was the idea. It's a fiercely dangerous enterprise, in point of fact, and nobody will agree to chart the islands for me. You'd think ship captains would be a bold-hearted bunch. I offered fair recompense. I'm not exactly the most powerful fighter, or I do it all myself. Still, wouldn't it be wonderful? An explorer's guide to the dead fire. Someday. I'm really tempted to take him along, but I hope this doesn't... You know, I wouldn't think this would lock us out of the choice, but we're, I'm just going to say, well, I, I wish you luck in that venture. So, okay, good, we can. Um, what is this? Intellect, okay. Surely the Juana have, have already charted the region. You can't ask them? Ah, well, it's possible they have, but they won't tell me a thing. Don't want interlopers tromping all over the land, I suspect. That makes sense. So I'm just gonna nod. Pity, really. I promised credit. An inscription in the frontispiece, even. So, uh, show me, show me what you have for sale here. Certainly, certainly. It would be my pleasure. Of course, it's mostly books and knickknacks. Maps I do on commission, you see. Gotcha. He does have some uh, luck picks. Hmm. Okay. It's five thousand though, the spy glass, my goodness. potions as well. Okay. So really, I guess we could take him along if we really need to, but I guess for now, we'll, uh, we'll leave him. Let's zoom in here just a second. Um, I'll handle this. The tattered and worn, uh, this map depicts a small region of the living lands. Ooh, nice. Um, I know they're doing what what is it? That first person RPG avowed, which I don't know if it's going to take a place in the Dare Empire. I think it's supposed to be a, like you know take place time wise before all this happens. But I wonder if they ever will do a game in the Living Lands. You know. But I guess we'll see. That or go back to Old Vale. Like, that would be interesting. Depending on when that happens timeline wise, I might would have to have Elseris you know go back home, but. Okay, so we've done that as the mill. We could go to the estate. I need the arms and armor. I might have to go check that out just to, uh, you know, for more armor. My fashion. Actually, you know what? Hang on. There's that, uh, world map, or, no, not that, um, nope. Maybe I can't look at the world map from this, from this part, um, actually I probably can't, thinking about it. Oh well, that's okay. That's okay. What I was gonna do, I was gonna see how far uh, that place is compared to here. Um, let's go now. 
I could. I'm. I'm sorry if I'm. I'm just you know debating where to go next. Um. I don't think we're ready to do that bounty just yet. I, I really want to, but I think we need to gain one more level just so it's kind of you know so we're high enough. Um. Anyways, I actually I think that is where I might cut off the video. I know that's really short for this episode. Uh, the episodes might be a little bit shorter depending. Um. But we'll see. Uh, you know, it's actually, you know, after I just got back from the trip and whatnot, there's actually a lot of things I would love to do, um, you know, coming up and whatnot. So I know I'm still going to be a little bit busy for reference, but what I'm going to try to do the next couple days, like over this weekend, um, you know, record as many videos um, as I can just to, you know, have a, a backlog, you know, just for this purpose. So. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. Wherever you guys are, have a good day, have a good night, and take it easy.